in my previous video I have left a hint in my video description if you have guessed Dale Jarrett you are absolutely correct if it was the other Dale I'm, I'm sorry I uh, uh, I'm sorry that he, if you expected another car this is Dale Jarrett's car and this is the box. This is the UPS uh, version, the Taurus, Ford Taurus. And the one thing I don't quite agree with the package is it's a level 2. Uh, I wouldn't consider it a level 2 quite because it comes pre-painted and the instructions are very simple. And I will show you the instruction and everything, the procedure to put it together. And... That's about it. This is the 1999 version, I believe. Yeah, 1999 version of it. I believe it's Dale Jr. But this is the car. Let's check it out. So, let's get a good view of the shell. This shell is gorgeous. The colors are there. I'm going to point out the things that I did add to this shell. And... Anything that I don't point out was already there. So the things I added were the lights, the crest, this, this, this. Of course, this is mirrored to the other side. So this one, all of the, and this one, those three beautiful ones. And the lights, as you can tell, because they're not put in properly. And... That's a shame. <laughs> and anything else that I didn't point out was already there. So this, as you've seen on the box, is pre-painted. Which means that this shell, this is the color. I didn't paint anything on it. This is brown, yellow, and white. And I have no idea how this happened. But it started to lose its color. It was a in a drawer all this time. I don't know how it uh, discolored, but since we got the shell out of the way, let's start with the body. And this is all put together, and it's very simple. Like, uh, the there's red, uh, black, and gray. That's pretty much the only colors, uh, unless you count the character in there, I can actually take it out. And this is a really good detail I really like. But the problem with this is it's rubber and with age I already feel it kind of crickling around. It's gonna break. Ex expect that to happen in the long run so if you want to keep it in this good shape I don't suggest keep bending that like uh, and it's a really nice looking body. It looks better with the shell on. Under the hood, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's a really, it's a nice looking engine. The underneath is really nice. And the character, I did have my problems with it, but it wasn't the fault of the model of the model it was my own fault I'll um, show you all my models are made to be tear torn apart for this particular reason and more and my failure of putting uh, stickers on the character I really uh, messed up but this is a really nice looking figure and it's and it Particularly it comes to life when you put it in and I lost the steering wheel again a very long time ago The other detail that I did add to this car was the speedometer which is Right there now the problem with this car is There there has to be something wrong with this <laughs> There should, there should be something wrong with it. I can't find anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this. 
I mean, the, the color's perfect. I found it. As you probably noticed in the beginning of the shell off reveal, the frame is red. The, the reason why this is getting me in particular is because of the box. In the back of the box, it's gray. Every part is pretty much gray on it. All the shell is red. Except the engine and the some of the parts underneath. I think there was something supposed to go there. I don't know. Even the body has a little kink in there. Like there's something that's supposed to go underneath of there. But I don't know. And the I don't quite agree with this too much with the sticker putting on the character. That's kind of uh, hard to put on because it's quite curvy like on the arms and everything else. And the other thing is the wheel pops off and what this car can do is open its hood to reveal a very nice engine bay the wheels fall the wheels cannot turn you can open this all four wheels can turn on this model, I particularly really like the wheels. They really look nice and they're actually quite my uh, favorite out of all my models. I have one here that always seems to fall off. It's really nice. It even has a little break in there, revealing a really nice detail in there that my camera cannot show. And some really nice sidewall details. And is very good looking and that's about it would I recommend this model absolutely this is a very nice model if it's to bond with your kid like a father son type this car is perfect it's nice it's easy it comes painted it just stands and looks really good if you can get your hands on it, I would really recommend it. Or any made by um, by Mattel. Any that's the Dale Dread 1999, which is this one, I would recommend it. And anything that's Revell pre-painted with the model there, they're often really nice. The first step in this one is the character. Very, very straightforward. Nothing complicated except the curse and the, the pipes and just putting all of that together and this it's really simple to understand and then you got the engine together putting more of the engine together the side and that's only one sheet of paper so very simple it even comes with a free American flag. So this ends the review of this beautiful, beautiful model. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you have any suggestions about cars, uh, just nothing bothers me. Just go, just go right for it. That ends the review on the Dale Jarrett 88 car Ford Taurus 1999 made by Revel. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I hope to see you next time on my next model review. I don't know much about NASCAR. I have never watched it occur on the track but I do know one channel that reviews NASCAR races. The channel name is JB Racing News Reviews. He reviews things about NASCAR that I quite don't understand, but he seems to know quite some bit about NASCAR. And if you want to know more about NASCAR, you could go around on his channel and check him out. <laughs>